Hey there, we're back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, in the last episode, we did a couple of the classes, uh, learned some more spells. I believe we still have two more classes to go to. We went to the botany class last time. We have to go to potions. And then we have to do a quest with, uh, I think her name is Natty, before we can uh, talk to Professor Fig again and continue the main story. So we're going to start with that and let's just get right into it. Oh yeah, uh, off camera, I just went around and did a couple of like the little side quests, and then I figured out how to change uh, my outfit to where it doesn't really matter. You can you can have like one outfit set for like stats, and then you can have another one just for uh, appearance. So I'm using the the dark arts set. Uh, you can't really see it that well in here, but I think it looks better than what we were wearing before. So. That's good. We can have like a cosmetic set and then one that actually uh, affects stats because I don't know how stats, uh, uh, how important they're going to be. Um, later on. Okay, I guess we have the game this one Potions. Um, I need money. I feel like we're not getting a lot of money. I don't know if it's because it's still pretty early in the game. Um, but I feel like we're probably going to need it to buy ingredients to make potions. Unless we just grow everything, I guess, in the herbology class. Hmm. Alright, let's see what uh, Professor Sharp, I believe, is uh, his name is. I'm gonna teach us. is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will Even looks like me. by brewing a Wigan Well a bit. potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy. Yes, the, the, the Wicked Well potion can be used to sterilize and mm -hmm. even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Well potion of your own. You never know okay, when so. you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I don't know if we have that. So I know we have the Dittany leaves. We grew them in, in herbology class last time. Uh, but we might have to buy that other thing so we can make a bunch of potions. So I feel like the combat's gonna get harder. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade. You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Sure. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jake Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Mm -hmm. See, that's going to get expensive. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. 
because her biology class takes a while, like, in real time. I, it's not too long, so we can probably still do it. But it, I don't know, it might be faster to just buy a bunch of stuff. I'll have to find out. Experiment. Um, like, cash, one of the eggs, dark, mongrel, fur. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Is that you talking? Professor Sharp said that Witherwell Potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Well, I mean... Well, I guess not everybody's going to have to find it. Professor Sharp said that you have permission to go into his office. Weasley! He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. So I'm guessing he's related to the professor. Wait, are you related to professor? Yeah, I mean, they all have to she's be. She's my aunt. Reasons. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an endurance potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. Just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect mm. that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I okay. simply need a single whooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, I mean, we're probably going to get a new potion out of it, right? So, yeah, sure. I'll get you the whooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm growing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. But I mean, even if we get in trouble, like, what's going to happen? Let's just do it. Okay, so here's the mongrel fur. The eggs. Yeah, oh, is that the feather over there? That purple thing? Um, uh, ore office, we're gonna burst, we're gonna burst is not an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Um, given that we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more ores to join those that have already been watching the shop, you are amongst the new additions. Wait, he's an ore? Wait, why is he at the school? I mean, I guess Moody was an ore too, and... He got brought in to teach them in uh, Harry's fourth year, so it's not that weird. Hmm. And like, Gorgon and Burks have been um, suspicious since 400 years ago, but like in present day, they're still open and doing <laughs> shady stuff, so obviously nobody ever caught, caught on. Here's the feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Okay. Where's my cauldron? No. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be calm. Mm, Endurus is it's fallacious, so I need flux weed stem. Uh, potion that enables the drinker's defense, okay. And here's his drinker's chance of success in the endeavor specifically by revealing the locations of large loot chests on the mini-map for one in-game day. Hmm. So I guess this is more for when uh, I have some free time, I could just use that. Then go search out all the loot chests, get them all at once. Since it's based on like in-game time. And then 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Okay. Sure. Oh, it's just automatically done. I thought I was gonna have to like add the ingredients and swirl them around, stir them. I guess let's just wait. Hmm. I mean, thirty seconds isn't too bad, but like, if the next one's a minute. I don't want to be stuck here for like five minutes for some of the later potions. And now we have the mallow sweet. And okay. That's odd. What's, What's happening? 
Oh, it's gonna explode, isn't it? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! I don't know what he did about that. He did it on his own. Okay, so he's more, uh. <laughs> more like Fred and, and George. Less Percy. Oh. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley Burn. did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Ah, <laughs> crap. He knows. I would give him a potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Gosh, darn it. No. He's gonna know, because I'm the only one that went in there. Stupid Weasley. So, hey there, uh, Professor Sharp. I brewed an edgeless potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley. No! Chaos. I'm sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not deny, deny, deny. You are failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say, you've done well. I confess I was... Yeah, skeptical. okay. Uh, I guess I gotta be more careful when doing stuff like that. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. Mm. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay okay. particular attention in herbology. Oh, the I will. I will definitely pay attention to the to brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot <laughs> leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Um, I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Well, I should probably make some more of that. Ah, crap. See, I need more pork. Pork club juice. Cause I'm going through those uh, healing potions pretty pretty quickly. Mm. Oh, my Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an aura. Oh, he's a former he aura, I guess. Oh, that's probably why he's all gruff like that. Uh, hey, hey, come back here. Is that a key? Yeah. So these keys have like a uh, house metal token things inside, and uh, there's a chest in this Lither common room uh, that's locked by a bunch of these tokens, but I need like a lot, probably at least 10, I didn't count them, but it, it's a lot that I need. Burn my loot goggles. Okay, just the exit. Alright, so I can just always come here. I need to make questions. Shit, you're not. Alright, uh, what was the last one? Girl from Wakanda. What is this? Duncan is here. Oh, I forgot to give this back to him. Mm. Okay, I'll do that. And then I'll go do the last quest with Natty. And then we can continue. Uh, with the story. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Sure. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. But I'm not the one to ask. Another I appreciate you getting it for me. 
Uh, see, like, I want to go with the, like, bad options, like, the, the evil options, I guess, but it just feels rude. Like, you know, he hasn't done anything to me. He's, he's been a decent enough guy. He just wanted some help, so uh, I guess happy to help. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Pusky Dunky for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show everyone how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. What do I get? Thank you for all of your help. No more Pusky Dunky for me. That was spectacular, bro. Nice. Okay. Now let's go meet Maddie, I believe the name is, right? Yeah, Maddie. Okay. Let's go. Oh, she's outside, so I think I have to actually fast travel to the world now. Um. Oh. Forbidden Forest, center of the... Wait, when have I been to the Forbidden Forest? Why is that unlocked? I don't think I've been there, have I? Hmm. Okay. No, not what I have to do. Alright, guess I'll just go to the front of the school. just go there and I'll try to walk my way because I'm, I'm still very confused by the map. I can't tell where things are. Wait, what? Am I further away than I was? Bro. Uh, okay, I'll just cut to when I'm there. Okay, so we're outside now. I could have just teleported to the library. Oof, that's still pretty far. But maybe we'll find some interesting uh, stuff on the way. Hopefully. If not, I could always better than that. Maybe I can actually just go explore now. Oh, these classroom. I'll be back. I'm sure I'll have a class here later. Yeah, but I like this this robe better than the other one. It definitely looks cooler in my opinion. Get the brooms and the mounts. Crap. <laughs> this would be a lot faster if I could just fly. Huh. 
the higher balloons. I wonder if I can shoot them down. Let's see if it's spelling armus works. Okay, yeah, no. Didn't think so, but it was worth a try. Alright, never mind. I guess we'll probably just have to come back once we learn that different spell. I'm not sure what it would be. Oops. Also, I should probably figure out if there's fall damage. I should just jump. Up a not like a super high plays but something where I should definitely get hurt and find out mm -hmm. also are there like animals or magical creatures walking around Leaping toasters. Ah, uh, something else going on over there. Oh, that's cool. <coughs> hmm. uh, I think that's another side quest. Brace pinch smuggler? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the bar, Pinch Smedley's? What? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, oh, there's something in the water. I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Oh, I don't know about all that. I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve, and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from mm. Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick but there's stargazing a cruise with my grandfather. There's something in the water. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Mm -hmm. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A oh, treasured really? family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Um, yeah, I guess what, what even is that? Is an it's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. Of the universe? It's mainly used for studying stars, astronomical pursuits. But it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Hmm. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Um, uh, maybe. It I sounds guess. dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Hmm. Anything else you found would be all yours. Well, I've cross referenced the vessel's last information. alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and time schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Uh, I do okay. hope you find the astrolabe. It what would mean that? so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. Why should I die down and see? Yeah. 
Can I swim? But I can't use magic. Oh, look, I can. Okay. Come closer. Drop anything though? Uh, how do I dodge the black light? Wait, how do I dodge? I don't think I was listening. No! <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay, so I can't actually just swim. Underwater, I can just hover like above things and maybe. Uh, okay. Hmm. Not sure how to do it. Also, I don't think I can use magic in the water, so. If I run into anything out here, I'm kind of dead. This <clears throat> must be where the patient might be found the astrolabers. Yes, but how do I die? I'm guessing I can't actually like just straight up dive underwater. I can just like search certain spots where there's items, I guess. Okay, there it is. Yeah, so that's all we need. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrally. I should probably start selling some of these other clothes because I'm, I'm never going to use the majority of them. So I might as well get some money so I can buy uh, ingredients for potions. What? Okay, it's not so full. You can sell. Ah, see, I should have sold stuff. I'm probably never going to come back here. Uh, let's see if I can get rid of something. Oh, I should probably... Huh. Okay, so I'll just destroy this. And I should probably change some of my clothes. Since you can alter the appearance anyway, I should probably actually switch out to some... Um, some gear that'll actually give me better stats. But I'll do that later. I'll go give this to her, then I'll go meet Natty. Uh, and probably on my own time, I'll go sell a bunch of this stuff. Probably equip some some of the better ones and just sell everything else. And for appearance, I'll just uh, I'll just keep what I have. Look, it's the best looking one I've found so far. Well, not even found, because it's the one that came with the pre-order. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? <laughs> well, I mean, she is rich, right? 
hide it. But it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank yeah. you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. That's As not I do a lot of money, though. Diving, you certainly have a knack for finding treasure. 20, 20 points. Oh, that looks fine. Yeah, that's fine. There she is. Oh, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow and the three broomsticks. I have been worried about you. Sure? I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. You know, we can't be going around telling everybody. Maybe don't. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But yeah, like out in the open too. You are clearly in danger. For now, it's it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Ooh, you Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going what? to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Um, what do you? Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. The yeah, they were just meeting out in the state. open too. Like, well, Rumor what's wrong with them? The Ophelous Hollow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. Oh, yeah, I overheard sense. some of Rookwood's lads talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. Alright, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Alright. Be on your guard. Is this a new finish? Yeah, right? What's going on here? Okay. Hello? Um, do you mind if I just steal a bunch of stuff? Ah! Okay. Alright, I'm guessing I, I'm gonna have to go sell, sell, sell some stuff. Uh, is there anything else I can get rid of right now? See, so yeah, that's good. You can wear whatever you want for stats and then just have the one that you like. Oh. <laughs> ah! Yeah, destroy. Do I still get the money? If I destroy it? No, right? I probably just... Mm, okay, so yeah, never mind. I shouldn't be destroying stuff. Uh, so I'll just get this. Then I won't open up any more chests at all. And I, oh, what is this? No, oh, statues. 
I saw one somewhere. Eventually. Um, I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. Mm. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Uh. Has Benrock's not ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. They've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. I feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. I'm sorry sure, this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here. Just southwest. past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. Hmm. I'm guessing I'm probably going to have to... It was nice meeting you. <laughs> we should have been Maybe a chain somewhere and I'll have to release them? Um... Yeah, I'll do yours later. I think there was something else. I thought did to that goblin back her Gringles. I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to her. They must have come this way! Think! Yeah, he straight up killed that other guy. For doing his I job. I don't know who did you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a dog shit to me back his time. Oi! Ash Monday? Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! Okay, so I guess Stupefy is the one. Yeah, what if like two on two or where the numbers are somewhat even? It's pretty easy. It's only hard when you're fighting like four or five different enemies by yourself. Oh, I probably talk to her. Yeah. Are you alright? Also, we just straight up murdered those people, right? Excellent defensive skills. Like, I get that they're bad, but I mean, we still kill people, right? Research. 
You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potionette. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were mere myth. Mere myth? <laughs> you lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. So then Chuck Merlin was a real person? Chuck about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Hmm. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. How fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I okay. suspect that Mallow Suite is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Suite, versatile herb. Yeah. Merlin repeatedly mentioned <coughs> it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our Why little not? hypothesis. All right, so I'm definitely going to need a bunch of plants. Then, I brought so. a trunk chock full of plants with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Yeah, I have a mellow sweet. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each mm. trap has these features. Place the mellow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Where? Oh, this. Okay. So I guess I need to look out for... Her. There's three, right? But there's four. There's four circles on the floor on the floor. Um. Hmm. How do we know which one goes first? I mean, there's only three, so I guess it. There's only so many combinations. What? Clearly, all three of these eyes are meant to be lit. Yes, but is this one just not lighting? Oh, I guess. The first one was just going out before I left the last one. Man. I'm done. I thought you had to light them in a certain order.
I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Well, what are my guesses, though? My guess is that each will also require marrow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. Yeah, I'm probably going to go to Hogsmeade right now and just sell a bunch of stuff. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I need, and I shall return to the safety <coughs> of my notes and books. But it's a main quest, so I guess it's important. Wars complete her own final challenge to increase your gear capacity. Oh! So, does that mean I can hold more stuff now? Greetings, young Slytherin. The Scrump knows about the old book you found for Professor V. Scrump can help you. And you can help Scrump get to the courtyard past the pen. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. Oh yeah, I wouldn't tell Professor Black anything. He's a douche. Okay, so I went to Hogsmeade and sold all of the extra stuff that I didn't need. So we have more room now. We got a little bit of money, but not a whole lot, really. Scrooge knows about that book you found. Is it missing something? Scrooge does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open. Scrooge has left another note across the bridge among the circle of rocks. Take Scrooge? care. Who's Scrooge? Hmm. South Hogwarts. Have you been this way? Yeah, I guess so. Huh? Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Oh. Um, uh, what is this? <gasps> this is the climb, right? All the way over there, there was one right here. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Not that. Bro. Um. Can I not? Okay. Maybe it was just too far away. There, head for the pumpkins just down from the stone circle. Look inside one of them, you may be able to help poor broken or stroke. So, pumpkins down from the stone Ooh, circle. I think I know just the place. Like by Hagrid's hut? Wait, Hagrid's hut is already here, so I guess it was just some hut that's been standing for hundreds of years that Hagrid moved into. I don't know why I thought he built it too late to live in this school. Throwing all these pumpkins, but you know, I guess we have to. I 
going to be like literally the last one. Huh. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Well, sorry whoever lives here. The young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. He needs to by the water's edge, by the broken docks. Down to the water's edge. Ah. Whoops. This had better not be a trick. Rebellion. My bad, whoever lives here. I didn't need to do that. I didn't realize I could just see inside. Whoops. Okay, so yeah, there's no bone damage. Oh, is there? Did it take a little bit of damage? I can't even tell. Oh, it's a bit higher. Um, I guess let's find out. No, it doesn't look like it. Arresto momentum. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrap. Scrap serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrap wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Couldn't they just follow the notes? The book I found in the restricted section. Scrap can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. Mm -hmm. oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. <laughs> in fact, Scrope wants to surprise him. Oh. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrap suspects she took them mm. to her private grotto. Okay. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. Oh. Scrap tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. Dang. How do you benefit if I find the papers? Scrap believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrap wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrap from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues She's to dead, bro. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. You can just teleport in there. Looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black hmm. Family Crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning. Yeah, I probably couldn't keep that ring. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a Jesus Christ, I forget that the Blacks were all just evil, horrible people. Other than Sirius. And I guess maybe Regulus? How did you know that I'd found a book? And that it's missing Jesus Christ. Scrope so and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. It seems this may help us both. I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hopes the young Slytherin would be willing to help. And take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. The best of luck finding your pages to end the ring. Christ. I wonder if uh, the headmaster's gonna end up being evil. Like that whole family's they're so messed up. Rebellion. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up being the no? Okay. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up being... Like oh, crap! Oh, 
screwed. I'm screwed. Ah, why am I in the water? No. Well, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. saves after after quests this should right okay it's about to say Jesus Christ. Can y'all screw off? Yeah, if I fall in the water, I'm basically screwed. No, where's the other one? Where's the one that's dying? I need to finish them off. So that I'm not getting swarmed. Ah. Uh. Nope. Yeah, I think when it's red, I have to dodge. But when it's yellow, I can I can parry, right? Getting surrounded is not fun. Christ. Um, I don't know if I need to level up. I need to get better spells, better equipment. I don't know. But <laughs> I feel like I'm not doing enough damage um, most of the time. Which is fine when it's one on one because I can just dodge, parry, whatever. But when there's like five of them coming at me at once. Uh, 
I basically have to just keep rolling and have almost no time to fire back. So it takes forever because I'm doing like single digit damage. Mm -hmm. Piece of toast. I suppose that's where it goes. Toast? Huh? Forbidden Forest, maybe? At night? Hmm, a map. Doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Is that it? Just a book? Could it be? A visitor? Who's this guy? Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? The house elf named How did you die here? Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, did she kill him? Twas to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from peas would pique her interest. She simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I must insist that you give them to me at once. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map. To what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens <laughs> next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? And I'll show you where to find the pages. Mm. Yeah, why the toast? Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. It's a weird piece of knowledge, for sure. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. Hmm. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all <laughs> I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware of a light, Beware breeze. light breeze. Okay. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Okay. All right, uh, so I think we're going to end the episode right there. We're probably going to start the next one off at the Forbidden Forest. Uh, I feel like that should probably be like its own, its own thing. Because uh, the Forbidden Forest is like a pretty big part of Hogwarts. I've kind of been wanting to go to it, but like I figured that I would probably be going there at some point during the story, so might as well. Um, so yeah, I guess this is all for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.